Jiva Fertility Centers is running free fertility camps at all our centers in Banjara Hills, Sanatnagar, Kompalli and Manikonda on all Saturdays this coming month of July. Please come down, evaluate yourself, understand your infertility and your chances of fertility with the treatment options available. There are heavy discounts given on IVF procedures. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Suvachla. Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Today we are doing another series on foods that are rich sources of proteins, vitamins, minerals which are good for sperm production. These are highly researched food uh, items and if you include this in your diet, there is very high scope that your sperm quality and quantity will definitely improve. Let's look at them one by one. First is eggs. Eggs are a high source of uh, vitamin E and protein and these vitamin E and protein, both what I am talking about, are very important for eradication of free radicals. Now free radicals, you can think of them as, uh, uh, you know, infection or uh, you can think of them as monsters inside which eat up all the good cells and they cause a lot of damage inside uh, any organ that they are present in. So eggs are very important to eradicate uh, these free radicals in testis and bring about a better sperm quality production and increase in sperm count as well. So eggs are a good source of vitamin E and protein. Spinach. Spinach is a very good source of folic acid and iron. Folic acid is not only important for a woman when she is trying for pregnancy, it is also very important for men when it comes to sperm production. Folic acid helps in improvement of not just the count and motility but also in betterment of morphology. It has uh, been studied that in conditions where folic acid is reduced, the sperm morphology is also defective. Now when sperm morphology is not good, then defective sperms, these morphologically defective sperms cannot enter the egg. Therefore, the fertilization by the sperms is not brought about. Therefore, including spinach in your diet is very very critical. Bananas. Bananas are a rich source of vitamin A, B and C which are very important for sperm production and not just any sperm production for healthy. When I talk about healthy, I mean count, motility and morphology are very good in such kind of sperms. Bananas are also a rich source of an enzyme called bromelain which are very important for sperm production. It is also seen to have a property of anti-inflammatory which means that any edema or, or any swelling in the testicles can also be reduced by consumption of bananas. Therefore, bananas should be included in your diet. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate has been studied extensively and has been shown to increase sperm count in a number of men that were suffering from oligozoospermia, which is a low sperm count. Dark chocolate has a very important uh, amino acid called L-arginine HCL, which is very important not just in what I have just mentioned, which is the increase in sperm count, but also it is good for increasing the sperm volume. So, Patients who are suffering from hypospermia, which is to say that the volume is lesser than 1.5 ml, consumption of dark chocolate has shown to improve the volume of uh, semen in such patients. Dark chocolate is also known to increase sexual desire. Therefore, dark chocolate consumption uh, about once or twice in a week is good for sperm production and also sexual activity. Let's talk about something green and leafy again, asparagus. Asparagus is a green vegetable. It is a rich source of vitamin C. Now, vitamin C is very good in repair, maintenance, regeneration of cells all over the body. Therefore, similarly in testis also, if there is any repair happening, if there has been previous infection or any such thing or any trauma, then recovery can be uh, expedited, can be, you know, speedily recover if you include uh, vitamin C in your diet. Therefore, asparagus, not only does it increase the sperm count and uh, motility, uh, it is very good for reduction of uh, free radicals again. Like I said, free radicals are harmful for your uh, sperm quality and quantity. Broccoli. You are aware that broccoli is that green that looks like a cauliflower. Now, broccoli again is a high source of folic acid. It is much, much higher than all the products that have talked about. Broccoli is a high source of folic acid. Now, it also has an important vitamin called vitamin B9, which is very essential for sperm production and maintaining its general uh, health as well. So, broccoli is one uh, food article. Well, everything can be consumed by men and women, but broccoli has a bifactorial uh, benefit. Even women can consume this and can improve their equality as well. So, broccoli should be included in diets at least two to three times in a week so that uh, vitamin B9, which is a rich source and uh, a very rare source which is found in broccoli, uh, then that can substantiate what you require for sperm production. Pomegranate is known as a fertility fruit for centuries, I might say. 
it it has been included as uh, juices or you know or custards or salads from centuries now pomegranate is also known as an uh, aphrodisiac as in it can increase sexual activity but the the best function of pomegranate um, is the eradication of free radicals when there is any infection present when there is any previous trauma when there is there is a lot of uh, stress that is uh, coming to the body in the form of smoking and alcohol all these effects can be reduced i am not saying that you can continue smoking and drinking and drink pomegranate to balance the effect but if so smoking and drinking has been done over a period of time and you've stopped it to get the benefits faster you can include pomegranate in your diet walnuts walnuts are a very rich source of antioxidants they are present in multifold compared to other dry fruits they also have two important other things that are very critical for sperm production omega 3 fatty acids which are important for blood flow uh, to the testes now blood flow is very important because hormones are also transmitted to all areas of the body through blood therefore blood to the testes is also very critical because hormones can then reach it properly for proper sperm production arginine is another important uh, product which is in uh, walnuts which is very good for increase in semen volume so these are the food items that you can include in your diet to increase your sperm production and uh, there are many studies and articles on the benefits health benefits of these foods that i have just mentioned please include them in your diet if you want any other clarifications please consult us at ziva fertility centers thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you